Hey guys, it's me again and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be making a schoolish related video again, similar to my video last time, because um, you know how people say you usually get inspiration from things around you and obviously I still go to school. So I get lots of my random inspiration from school surroundings. Um, and also I guess I want to make this video because I need motivation myself and to just get me to work, get down and do it. So here are my ideas on revision techniques to help you ace your exams. So firstly, I think one of the most important things is prep. Preparation before you sit down and revise and just not get distracted. For me, I think this includes hair stuff, drinks, going to the toilet and clothes. And by this I mean tying your hair back so it doesn't get in your way because I know for me, for example, if my hair's down because I have like longish hair, I start playing with it, messing with my hair and that really distracts me. Also, by toilet I mean go to the toilet before you work because you, whenever you get up off of that seat, go to the toilet and come back, you've like lost where you're working, you've lost your train of thoughts and like you just... Yeah, I get really distracted when you go to the toilet in between, so I would strongly advise to go to the toilet before you start working. Have a drink by your side, because I feel drinking is my form of snacking, but if you're actually snacking, your hands get dirty, and then you don't want to touch your pens, it gets dirty, and then you want to wash your hands, and I just waste loads of time, to be honest, and gets you distracted. But water, not only is it good for you, um, it keeps you hydrated, but um, it gives you a nice breather in between revision points which I find quite useful because you're not leaving your working place to get distracted but it's just a little um, moment to just stop and rest for a little bit. And my last preparation point is wearing comfy clothes because I think that if you're comfortable before your work <clears throat> it's more likely to make you focus more because there's, less, there's one less distraction to stop you from working and um, it just makes you feel happy when you're working in like snuggly clothes. So those were some of the preparation points that I use most of the time to help me get down into revision. Um, and yeah, here are some of the methods that I use to help me revise. I mean, personally I don't think I have a specific revision technique and I've actually taken quite a long time to sort of find out what sort of way works for me. And to this day, I don't actually think I have a method that works for me and I find, oh, I really like this method, I should use this more uh, because it helps me revise. So I'm still experimenting because, and I find this quite stressful actually because I, loads of people know like, oh, I need to like, copy out notes and do this and do that to help me revise, but I don't actually know. So yeah, I've been trying out different methods to see what suits me the best. My first method, and I think possibly my favourite method actually, um, is sort of like a reward system for yourself. So um, for me, for example, I use like a sweet, I put a sweet on um, my textbook or something, and if I learn up to that point, I allow myself to eat that sweet, and for me, that makes me really happy because, like I said before, I love to eat, so this system really works for me because I'm motivated to want to learn up to that point so that I get that sweet. But obviously you need quite a lot of discipline for that as well because obviously it's really easy to just take that sweet and eat it without actually learning it. But I think this method, yeah, it helps me. And similarly, instead of getting a sweet and learning up to that point, I would allow myself to watch a YouTube video after, well obviously a short one though, not a massive vlog or something. But I would allow myself to watch a YouTube video after I revised this part or like I learned this part or something like that. And that's really good for me. I use that quite often actually. So, I think this is one of the best times to use one of your favourite things against you because obviously it's for a good purpose. Also, one of the most important methods I find is the use of colour because I feel like I'm a visual learner so the use of colour association really helps me to link things together and remember things. Um, so yeah, my notes are pretty colourful I would say and it makes me really happy as well. For example, I don't know if you can see but here I've used loads of colours because it makes my notes stand out and I've used different like boxes and like frilly stuff and um, yeah those are things just to help me remember things better and um, yeah I, I, I colour coordinate my stuff as well so my titles and headings would be in one colour um, important statistics and stuff in another colour and yeah I find this really helps me Another method that I quite like to use is getting other people to save your notes for you because I think this is quite a fun method as well 
Um, and I do this by getting different people to associate with different subjects so that, I don't know, it's a bit funny, but I would link that subject to that person and they'll be like, oh yeah, I remember this person saying that and it just sort of helps me. Wait. <laughs> I remember how I used to help my sister read her history notes as well. Um, just to help her remember the statistics and stuff and it actually made me remember the notes and the statistics as well which just goes to show how powerful this method is. I've also been loving making flashcards for subjects like languages, like for me Latin and French because I find it quite useful um, and not only that but it's quite small so it's easy to carry around and it's really satisfying because I think for me I'm also a doing person so I learn well by making things and doing um, so yeah, I like using this method. And it also makes me really happy because just look how cute that looks and that little like heart um, paper clip to keep it all together and I've made it all, for me I think I'm quite like OCD. Um, I have to have it all like in those lines and like every other line and it's just really neat and this makes me really satisfied so I think it's a good method for me. Making your own test. Now I know this sounds horrible because the word test is like oh, more work and you just sort of, everyone just dreads, dreads tests. Wow, that's, that was my twen tu ugh, tongue twister. But anyway, um, making your own test is really good because um, it doesn't sound as bad as you think. You're actually, well the way I do it is you read your notes and for things that you don't really understand, you turn that statement into a question and you'd write it down. And then when you, for me, I would do that for the whole of unit one for example. And then for the whole of unit two, when I finish unit two, you do the unit one test. So it really tests your memory and seeing if you actually understand what's going on and um, it's a really good method to know what you know and what you don't know. Right, so that's basically all but my last point is the importance of sleep when you're working and this sounds so cliche because you know like everyone tells you, okay you need to sleep more to be able to do well because your brain or does your like unconscious memory or something and then you know things better when you're sleeping, like you remember things better. Um, but sleep is actually really important because not only is it good for your health, but you really just shouldn't overwork yourself. Like I know some people who before their exam did an all nighter because they feel like they haven't revised everything. But to be honest, if you're crash revising, it means you don't know it. And if you're forcing yourself to remember something last minute, it's not likely that you'll remember it anyway. So I think you're better off just to sleep more than to just have an all nighter and just stress yourself out even more. So yeah, that was another schoolish related video. Um, I hope that not only did it help some of you, um, that you might take up these techniques, but I think it's also a mes message to myself and that um, I really need to do some revision and I hope telling other people about this forces myself to do some more revision because when I tell other people I haven't done enough revision, I really haven't. And I mean, I, thought, I think it sort of makes me happy when they say I haven't either because I know I'm not alone. That sounds really nasty, but um, yeah, it's sort of comforting and I'm sure people agree with me and you know what I'm saying anyway, because everyone's lied about doing work when they haven't actually. But yeah, that concludes this video and I think I should really go off and buckle down and do some work. So hey them when you're editing this, you need to work after this. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, leave any comments down below and like this video if you liked it, because that makes me happy. And um, yeah, I'm really enjoying this whole thing. So let's hope this whole video thing lasts for a lot longer. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye.